Hi, I'm Steve with Comprise, and today I'm going to show you how to migrate an SMB share from an on-prem Windows 2016 server to Microsoft Azure. So if you're not familiar with Comprise, Comprise is an analytics-driven data management platform. It lets you analyze your unstructured data across on-prem NAS, in the cloud, as well as multiple sites. So you can see here, I've got a few sites that are under management, and uh, this lets me create granular policies to migrate, to replicate, uh, and to move data across sites into different resources. So let's go ahead and dive into what we're gonna talk about today, which is migrations. If we look at our Atlanta site, you can see we've got uh, two active migrations running. So Comprise can manage hundreds of migrations at the same time. And what you'll see is enterprise storage uh, vendors using Comprise to manage from their legacy gear or another vendor to their storage as well, or to the cloud. And you can see that we've got a few running here. And what Comprise does is it'll run multiple iterations over time, moving more data with each, with each run, and then showing you the results. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump into my lab. So first I created a share in my Microsoft Azure portal called Marketing, and I'm going to migrate my marketing share from my local Windows 2016 marketing share to Azure. So here you can see I've got Windows 2016 set up. I've got my marketing share set up here. And now let's click on uh, my Azure and we'll show you the same setup here. So here I've got a uh, Azure marketing as my destination. And now let's go ahead and go to the migrate tab. We're gonna click add migration. We'll choose our source, which is gonna be our Windows 2016 marketing share. And now we're gonna choose our destination and that's gonna be Microsoft Azure. Click Next. Uh, we can give this a friendly name. We'll leave this as WinServe Marketing for this demo. Click Next. And here it's asking us, do we wanna preserve the access time on the files when they reach the destination? That's gonna let you see the age and access on those files, we'll leave that in place. And it also gives you the destination, or it also gives you the option to uh, maintain the ACLs or the permissions. And because my Windows 2016 server is in the same domain as my Azure uh, share, it's all gonna work seamlessly for our users. We're also going to maintain a detailed audit log that will show us every file that's moved across, any errors we encounter, uh, and so we have a full uh, listing of what happened at the end of our migration. So with that set, we're going to go ahead and click Next. It's going to give us a, a summary of what we're going to do, and we're going to go ahead and start this migration. And what Comprise is going to do now is run multiple iterations, moving as much data as possible with every, every iteration. So let's go ahead and let this cook for a while, and then we'll come right back. All right, so some time has passed and we've done several iterations against our data. And you can see the Comprise is actually telling us that we are ready for cutover here. So let's drill in and see what happened. So on our first iteration, we copied over several hundred megabytes of data. Again, this is my small home lab. And then I copied a bit more information over, a bit more data into that share. So in iteration two, you can see we picked up more data. At iteration three, there was no new data to be copied. Comprise let us know that we were ready to do our final migration and what we did before we went to our final migration is we set our source to read only for our users so that there would be no new data added. And then we went ahead and ran that final iteration where Comprise compared the source against the destination to make sure that all the data was exactly as it was supposed to be. So if we jump into our view of our Azure portal, we click on our marketing share, we can now see that all of our data is available just like it was on-prem. And if we were to go over to our Windows 2016 server, we can see that on my Y drive, which is mounted to my marketing share, my data is here. So as far as my users know, absolutely nothing has changed. They're seeing their data exactly as they saw before. So again, thank you so much for watching this video. There'll be a link in the description to below on how to set Comprise up with the Comprise for Azure Quick Start Guide. And we'll be seeing you in the next video. Thank you so much.